Hey, it's Ivan here. I'm going to show you how to fix this error that you see in your system IO when you are working in the editor and you see this error where it says at least one email input is required on this page. So I know you might be fearful that you're going to lose all your work and things like that and you, you don't know how to fix it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to share my own editor and you can see that I've got the same error. So what this happens is when you're creating a sales page or a certain type of page and it doesn't matter what the content is on the page right now, right? It's not actually relevant. So we're not going to uh, we get, just ignore all of that. What that means is when you try to save, it's basically saying you need to have at least one place where somebody can enter their email. Now, you might be thinking, I don't want anybody to enter their email. It's just a sales page. So here's what you're going to do to fix it. You're going to just click on add section at the very bottom. So it's not even visible. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to form input. Now you're going to drag in the form input like so. And then you're going to click on the orange button where it says form input. And now this thing on the left is going to pop up and you can customize. You're going to click on input type, choose email. Then you're going to delete the placeholder so it's not visible. Then you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see where it says border. And usually it says solid. You're just going to make it none. Now, this whole thing, even though there is a place to enter their email, it's actually not visible on the page at all whatsoever. It's going to be at the bottom of your page. No one's ever going to see it. No one's going to know it's there. So when they actually look at the editor at the page, it's not visible. Now, when you click on save, it's going to work just fine. Now, if I was to click on previewing this page, you will notice that basically this is not visible at all. So nobody's going to see it. No one's going to care if I do enter their email, you, you could kind of see it, but it, it's not visible at all. So it doesn't matter. And that's that. That's how you fix it. Now, to make your life easier in the description of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, give you this clickable section. So you don't even have to do any of the tweaking stuff that I've done. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on save and I'm going to call this blank email input. Click on create. And then I'm going to basically share this section with you in the description or wherever it is you're seeing this video. So you can literally click it into your editor and then you can be able to click on save. You will be able to find it when you go to blocks and then you will see it under my blocks, which is typically this one right here. And then you'll see it right here, blank email input. So I'm going to give you this link. You, all you got to do is click it. It will automatically be in the my blocks. You'll be able to see it. It will be called blank email input. Click it one time. It will appear at the very bottom of your page and it'll be all sweet. All right, thanks all for watching. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the description as well so I can continue to record more helpful videos like this about System.io.